I bet you didn't know how easy it can be to save more money in 2024. Saving money is the bedrock of a strong financial future. It lets you sleep soundly knowing you've got a cushion for the unexpected and you're building towards your dreams. But we also know that saving money can feel like a constant uphill battle. Life throws curveballs, and it's easy to feel like you're just trying to keep your head above water. So if you've ever struggled with saving or just want to learn some easy habits to boost your savings rate, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. All right, let's kick things off with the foundation of any solid financial plan budgeting. Budgeting doesn't have to be about restricting yourself or living like a monk. It's about understanding where your money is going and making conscious choices about how you want to spend it. Your budget is your financial roadmap. It helps you define your financial goals and shows you the path to get there. There are tons of different budgeting methods out there, from the classic 50-30-20 budget to more detailed spreadsheet-based systems. The key is finding what works best for you, your lifestyle, and your financial goals. Remember, knowledge is power, and when it comes to your finances, that knowledge can translate into serious savings over time. Now that you've got your budget in place, it's time to talk about cutting those pesky, unnecessary expenses. This is about being smart and making conscious choices about where your money is going. Think of it as financial decluttering. Start by taking a close look at your budget and highlighting any expenses that aren't absolutely essential. These could be things like subscription services you don't use anymore, eating out too frequently, or those impulse purchases that sneak into your shopping cart. Go through your bank statements and make a list of all your subscriptions. Be ruthless. If you're not actively using a service or if it's not adding significant value to your life, cancel it. Try implementing a 24-hour rule before making any non-essential purchases. All right, so we've talked about budgeting and cutting unnecessary expenses, but what about those essential purchases you can't avoid? That's where smart shopping techniques come into play. Embrace the power of comparison shopping. Don't just settle for the first price you see. Use price comparison apps like Honey or Camel 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 to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. Let's talk about cashback rewards apps like Rakuten, Ibotta, and Fetch Rewards. These apps give you money back for purchases you're already making. Look for credit cards that offer cashback, travel miles, or points that can be redeemed for gift cards or merchandise. Be strategic with your shopping timing. Many retailers have sales cycles, so wait for a sale or clearance event. Consider buying used or refurbished items whenever possible. Let's dive into a money-saving strategy that's like getting a little bonus every time you spend cashback and rewards programs. These programs can really add up over time, especially if you use them strategically. Some of the most popular cashback apps include Rakuten, Ibotta, and Fetch Rewards. These apps partner with a wide range of retailers, both online and in-store. Next, we have credit card rewards programs. If you're someone who pays off their credit card balance in full every month, then you're missing out on free money if you're not using a credit card with a solid rewards program. The key is to choose a credit card with a rewards program that aligns with your spending habits and financial goals. Just remember, rewards programs are only beneficial if you use them responsibly and avoid carrying a balance. Let's talk about food, glorious food. But more specifically, how to save money on one of our biggest expenses eating. By simply planning your meals in advance and reducing the frequency of eating out, you can significantly lower your food expenses. Meal planning might seem like an extra chore, but trust me, it's a total game changer. Set aside some time each week to plan out your meals for the upcoming week. Create a detailed grocery list organized by category to avoid impulse purchases at the store. Another way to cut down on food costs is to get creative with leftovers. Instead of eating out several times a week, try limiting it to one or two special occasions per month. Cooking more meals at home is not only good for your wallet, but it's also generally healthier than eating out. Let's be honest, saving money consistently takes discipline. By automating your savings, you're essentially tricking yourself into saving money without even having to think about it. Think of it like this. When you automate your savings, you're prioritizing your financial future before you even have a chance to spend the money. There are a couple of ways you can automate your savings. The first and easiest way is to set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account. Another option is to take advantage of employer-sponsored retirement plans like a 401k or a 403b if your employer offers one. The key here is to start small and gradually increase your savings rate over time. You'll be amazed at how quickly those small, consistent contributions can add up over time, thanks to the power of compound interest. We've all been there. 
you sign up for a free trial of a streaming service, forget to cancel it, and before you know it, you're being charged monthly for a service you barely even use. It's a common scenario that can happen to anyone. Those recurring subscriptions can really add up over time, but the good news is that they're also one of the easiest expenses to cut back on. By taking a few simple steps, you can save a significant amount of money each month. The first step is to take inventory of all your subscriptions. This means identifying every service you're currently paying for, no matter how small the amount might seem. Go through your bank and credit card statements for the past few months and make a list of every single subscription you're currently paying for. This might take some time, but it's worth the effort to get a clear picture of your expenses. Once you have a complete list, it's time to be ruthless. Don't hesitate to cut out services that you don't use frequently. Review each subscription and ask yourself, am I actually using this service regularly? If the answer is no, then it's probably time to cancel it. Remember, every little bit adds up. Set reminders in your phone or calendar to review your subscriptions on a regular basis. This way, you can stay on top of your expenses and avoid unnecessary charges in the future. Regular reviews can help you stay financially healthy and avoid unwanted surprises. In today's world, it often feels like we're constantly bombarded with messages that tell us we need to own a car to live a full and convenient life. But the reality is that owning a car, especially in urban areas, can be a significant financial drain. Between car payments, insurance, gas, maintenance, and parking, the costs of car ownership can really add up quickly. Public transportation offers a surprisingly convenient, affordable, and often faster alternative to driving. One of the most obvious benefits of using public transportation is the cost savings. Public transportation can also save you time and reduce stress, particularly if you live in a congested city with heavy traffic. Moreover, using public transportation can contribute to a healthier lifestyle and a cleaner environment. Walking to and from public transportation stops can provide you with some valuable exercise. So, next time you're planning a trip, consider giving public transportation a try. Not only will you be saving money, but you'll also be contributing to a more sustainable and eco-friendly way of living. Public transportation systems are designed to be efficient and can often get you to your destination quicker than driving, especially during peak hours. Additionally, using public transportation can free up your time to read, relax, or even catch up on work during your commute. It's a small change that can make a big difference in your daily life and the environment. In today's consumer culture, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that we need to hire professionals for every little task around the house. Whether it's fixing a leaky faucet, painting a room, or even assembling furniture, the default reaction is often to call in an expert. But the truth is that many home improvement projects, repairs, and even personal care tasks can be tackled with a little bit of DIY spirit and some elbow grease. You'd be surprised at how much you can accomplish with just a bit of determination and the right guidance. Embracing a DIY mindset can not only save you a significant amount of money, but it can also help you become more self-reliant. Imagine the satisfaction of fixing something yourself instead of paying someone else to do it but can also be incredibly empowering and rewarding. The sense of accomplishment you get from completing a project on your own is unmatched. Start by identifying areas around your home or in your life where you're regularly spending money on services that you could potentially do yourself. This could be anything from home repairs to personal grooming. There are countless resources available online, from YouTube tutorials to DIY blogs to online communities dedicated to sharing tips and tricks for tackling various projects. These resources can provide step-by-step -step instructions and helpful advice, from YouTube tutorials to DIY blogs to online communities dedicated to sharing tips and tricks for tackling various projects. You can even join forums and groups where people share their experiences and offer support. One of the keys to successful DIY is to start with small, manageable projects. Don't overwhelm yourself by taking on something too big right away, and gradually work your way up to more challenging endeavors as you gain confidence and skills. As you complete more projects, you'll find that your abilities and your confidence grow. Another important aspect of DIY is to invest in some basic tools and supplies. Having the right tools can make a huge difference in the ease and success of your projects. Embracing a DIY mindset is not just about saving money, it's about taking control of your environment and your life. It's about fostering a sense of self-sufficiency, resourcefulness, and creativity. By taking on DIY projects, you not only improve your home, but also build valuable skills and a sense of pride in your accomplishments. So there you have it. 
9 Simple Yet Powerful Habits That Can Help You Save More Money in 2024 and Beyond. Remember, financial success is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making conscious choices, being mindful of your spending, and consistently taking small steps towards your financial goals. Start by implementing one or two of these habits into your daily life and gradually incorporate more as you become more comfortable. Thanks for watching. 